Hello, I'm Emily Spaven and this is your Week in Tech. Today we're being hosted by House, a company that transforms bars and restaurants that are closed during the day into daytime co-working spaces. This is their first location, House at Sway in London's Hoban. Kanye, you're the CEO and founder of House. Can you tell us what's on offer here? Uh, House is about bringing together early stage startups and freelancers who currently work from coffee shops or homes. Uh, so we provide them with free coffee, tea, Wi-Fi, a lot of power outlets. But most importantly, we want to create this kind of supportive community where um, people can come to House, uh, make new connections and most importantly, make new friends. In UK investment news, biotech firm Oxford Genetics raised £500,000 from Mercia Technologies. The company specialises in synthetic biology and DNA design and raised £1 million back in October last year. Smart Pension closed a £15 million Series B, bringing its valuation to £65 million. Tom Valentine and William Reeve, the co-founders of Secret Escapes, participated in the round. EVR Holdings raised £5 million through the placing of shares on AIM, a sub-market of the London Stock Exchange. The firm, which specialises in creating virtual reality content, acquired VR startup Melody in May last year and previously raised £3.4 million on AIM. In a speech delivered in the aftermath of the London Bridge attacks, Theresa May emphasised her desire to enforce some kind of internet regulation. May said she wanted to regulate technology companies in order to crack down on extremist content being posted online. Critics say this shows just how clueless May is about the way the internet is structured. Over in Germany, Delivery Hero officially announced plans to raise as much as 450 million euros from a public listing on the Frankfurt Stock Exchange. The European food delivery company reached an agreement last year to offload its UK business to rival Just Eat. However, the deal is still under review by the UK's Competition and Markets Authority. Pinterest raised $150 million from existing investors at a $12.3 billion valuation. Before this funding round, the visual discovery and planning tool had raised a total of around $1.3 billion. Our download of the week is Acasa. Formerly known as Splittable, the app enables users to set up, manage and pay for utilities and on-demand services. It also features a peer-to-peer -peer money transfer service. And finally, have you ever accidentally sent a message to the wrong person and wish you could stop them from seeing it? Rumour has it WhatsApp is introducing a feature that will save you from this very embarrassing scenario. According to WA Beta Info, a fan site that tests new WhatsApp features before they're rolled out, the recall feature will enable users to delete their text, image and video messages within a five minute window. That's all for this episode. Thanks to House for hosting us. For more information, visit house.me.uk and for more top tech headlines, follow Tech City News on Twitter.